Okay, we're going to start with calculating formula mass and molecular mass. Now in chemistry 11, formula mass and molecular mass are very similar. Uh, you may have already read some of the chapter and been thoroughly confused by these terms and especially the word moles. It's not easy. So, But for us, uh, formula mass just means the mass of a substance or a molecule. And that will be measured in AMUs, or atomic mass units. The molecular mass of a substance is calculated exactly the same way, but its units are different. Its units are in grams per mole, and like this. So the method is the same, but the units are written differently. Um, in the uh, guided notes, we have a couple questions, so I've copied those questions. I'm just going to move them up so they're easier to read here. And uh, we'll, do, uh, we'll do a couple examples here. Uh, I'd ask you to show your work. Part A here, question A. Uh, find the formula mass for acetic acid, and it gives you acetic acid here. Uh, when you find the formula of mass, you just need to look at which atoms are present in that compound. So we can see that there's uh, one hydrogen, two carbons, three more hydrogens, and two oxygens. So there's a total of, there's actually a total of four hydrogens. There's one here and, and three more here. So it's going to write like this. There's four hydrogens, there's two carbons, and there's two oxygens. You will need your data booklet, or at least a periodic table in front of you, with the atomic masses written. I'm just going to scroll down. I have a periodic table. We need to know what the atomic masses are of these different elements. Okay. So if I look at hydrogen, for example, hydrogen has a mass of 1, 1.01. Okay. So if I'm calculating hydrogen, there's four of them, so four times one is four. Carbon. Carbon is on the right side of the periodic table. It's over here. It has a mass of 12, 12.01. So it's very close to just 12. There are two carbons in my molecule. So two times 12 is 24. And oxygen is also on the right-hand side of the table. It has an atomic mass of 16. There's two of them in my compound. So I'll go 2 times 16 is 32. And if I add all of these together, grand total, let's move this out of the way here for a minute, the grand total of all of those atomic masses together is 4 plus 24 plus 32 uh, should be 8. And then we got here, we got 60. 60, and because we're calculating, I'm just going to go back up to the question here and read it one more time. We're calculating the formula mass. It's going to be in atomic mass units. So our answer of 60 here is going to be written in a 60 AMU. That's the formula mass for acetic acid. You would do the same thing for the next question, carbonic acid. You want to add up the total amounts of hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen, and just looking at their uh, masses on the periodic table and totaling them up. So again, the same, actually the same exact same elements. We've got hydrogen, we've got carbon, that's 12 uh, atomic mass units and oxygen with 16 atomic mass units. And add up those numbers and find your answer. Molecular mass is done almost exactly the same way. And we'll take a look at um, <clears throat> maybe the, just the first one here, carbon monoxide. Okay. When you're finding the molecular mass, you do it exactly the same way as we just did for uh, the acetic acid, it's just now our units are different. Our units are going to be in grams per mole. Carbon monoxide has one carbon. And from the periodic table, we know that the atomic mass of carbon is 12. 
there's only one oxygen and that was 16. So if I add those together, I get 28. And this time it's not atomic mass units, it's grams per mole. That is the molecular mass of carbon monoxide. The next video we're going to get into how to convert uh, between moles and grams, uh, between numbers of atoms or particles and molecules and moles, and from volume to moles as well. See you then.